If you're just joining us, this is the second installment of our Saba motorcycle series, full of friendly people. Nice to meet you. No less than eight vehicles just passed us. Every single one of them waved at us. And dogs. Colorful vocabulary. Piece of shit de resistance. And copious dairy consumption. So if you feel inclined, maybe consider subscribing because there's still a very long road ahead of us and much more to see of this beautiful slice of Borneo. So far, we've driven about 55 kilometers, and last time you saw us, we were on the side of the road waiting out the rain. And that's where we still are. We, we didn't leave. We've, we've just been waiting here for a whole week. No, I'm, no, I'm just kidding. What's our catchphrase? Oh, um, was it, uh, sometimes stuff just happens to you? Yeah. Yeah, it does. And what and do you do when stuff just happens to you? You just have to, uh, you just have to, uh, I can't think of a way to describe that that's not totally stupid. It's <laughs> a normal way, Evan. Um, you just gotta roll with the punches and, uh, make do. Find a way to enjoy the rain. Exactly. I think we did that. This was a kind of a fun interlude. What a hidden gem, honestly. This is a great activity to do in Saba. I don't know if it's that popular. Obviously, if some people do it because they have a motorcycle rental. Well, they have a motorcycle rental place here, but even the guy there said that not that many people take the bikes for that long. It's usually a few days, not 11 days. Not trying to say we're the first people to ever do well, this, I'm but... Well, I'm saying that a little bit, maybe. Damn it, is the rain back? We need to quit filming and just go. Good news is it doesn't look like it's really raining. After you? Just kidding, it's still raining. I can't see very well. That's nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Almost dropped it. Oh, yeah. Cool. It's so warm. Doesn't it just feel like biting into a cloud? Yeah. Mmm. Kind of hits the spot. Yeah, it does. Come on. Full disclosure, we booked a hotel because neither of us possessed the mental fortitude to set up a tent in this weather. But there is still the matter of actually getting there. We just need to start going down a bit and I think we'll get out of the clouds. It's quite the adventure today. No way I'd be pitching a tent right now because we don't even have a tarp to put on the ground.
between us and I thought that he sprayed me and I was like, what the f dude? But it was just that wall of rain and it was just like, <sighs> it was like a bass drop of rain. Yeah, at this point, I just want to be in a place where we can be dry and my spirits are high, so I'm feeling good. How about you? Yeah. Good. Just good old soaker. We can only get wetter. Fortunately, the road was starting to dry up and the air was becoming warmer as we descended. Exhausted and soaking wet, we made it to our hotel just before dark and promptly face planted on the bed. Well, we kind of dipped on you guys last night. That's because it was a crazy, foggy, rainy ride here, and we honestly just wanted to get into a place with a roof. We found this place and we were like, oh, this is sick. Maybe we'll stay here for two nights because Tambunan is crazy cool. Just the most beautiful valley. We wanted to do a hike around here or something, but they're fully booked, which is a bit of a downer, honestly, because uh, we lazed around a little bit too much this morning because we were just so tired from our first full big day of riding. So now we're just trying to find somewhere else to stay for the night. I know that we advertise this as camping. I think both of us are a little resistant to the idea of just going camping tonight because we don't have anything to lay on. Yeah, I'm kind of with you. I didn't really realize we weren't going to have any kind of sleeping pad. I'm not prepared to sleep on the ground. My body can't really take that. We will do more camping though. We have to. We have a tent. And also, you know, I, I've been sick for the past couple days, so I have a pass. I want to sleep in a bed. <laughs> <coughs> But good news is all of our stuff dried last night, including our shoes that were absolutely soaked. Did you book it? It is booked. Yay! Oh God! Sorry you had to see that close up. I'm really bad at that. Uh. <laughs> so we booked at a nature lodge for two nights. It's out of town, out of service. Love it. Gonna finish packing up. Then we'll just toss all our stuff on the bikes and uh, see where the day takes us. I'm on, I'm, I'm hungry, so, um, I'm gonna put down the camera. Figuring we'll see where we'll be next. Yeah, uh, you guys, uh, just, uh, let us know when you want to chat next. checked out of our hotel and we couldn't help ourselves after having breakfast from coming back up to the incredible view that we had yesterday when we just got through the fog and the rain. It's... Oh, if you dropped me here on GeoGuessr, I would have no idea that this was in Malaysia because you stand here and you can just see mountains for days and they just keep going up, much like our mountains at home. So I think we're gonna spend uh, a few more days here just because well, we feel homey. Plus everyone's super nice, surprise. Since when we were here before, we were uh, rainy. No, we weren't rainy. Uh, we were soaking wet the last time we came through here, so we were in no state to, uh, to film any of it. Consider this like a reenactment, I guess. We'll, we'll act like it's our first time seeing it. <gasps> oh my God! That was what? pretty much it. There's a rice paddy. This is crazy. Did you 
should tell them about how uh, we almost lost our cool when we were trying to check out and pack our bikes. I wasn't going to because I was embarrassed. <laughs> yes, we did momentarily lose our cool. Not at each other. It's the heat, man. We were trying to pack our bags, get checked out, strap our bags to the bike. Couldn't find the GoPro. And I almost dumped my bike because I parked it on too high of an angle. So we were this close to losing the cool. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Oh. Okay, enough gawking. Let's try and beat this storm and get to our homestay. I do. Oh my god, that guy is talking on the phone and only has one hand on the wheel but still took his hand off to wave to us. Cool as hell. Isn't that right? Alright, sports fan, let's go. like someone just knitted a very fine afghan and laid it over top of the entire landscape. After we escaped that uh, deluge, we kind of made our way up this roundy hillside. I can't remember the name of this place. Cambunin Nature Lodge. And it's as advertised. There's so much nature. That's so quiet here. There's two nice little doggies. This one just coughed up a hairball. Oh, are they coming to see? Hi. 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 Hi, guys. Oh, they're so cute. Hi. Hi. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> Oh, you guys are best friends too, aren't you? Yeah, so while we're still not camping, we are in uh, the type of place that we would not normally be able to had we not been on motorcycles, so that's our saving grace, I guess. I think maybe most of this time we won't be camping. <laughs> Whatever, it's still an adventure. I'm, I'm happy with it. I don't know if I mentioned it, yet or not, but... Ew, these ants. Ashley hates all things creepy crawly. Yeah. Even butterflies. Well, I don't mind them from afar, but up close it's like, f*** off. To be fair, I think we should be terrified of them. An ant can carry so many times its own body weight. It's mm -hmm. insane. I can hardly lift up my legs out of bed. Healthy fear. As I was saying, I've never felt so comfortable riding a motorbike. I'm just getting more and more confident and happy. And I'm pretty stoked. Also, I think riding in Vietnam kind of put a bit of hair on our chest because if anyone has ridden in Vietnam, they know what the road is like there and what the road rules are like, i.e. there are none. So Malaysia is just like a walk in the park. It's so easy compared to that. People have obviously, you know, tailgated us a bit because we go pretty slow, but they're patient and they wait to, for a good moment to get around us and no one's been angry, I don't think. You just said something that I realized might be a key reason why I'm having a better time. The lack of honking. Malaysians don't really honk unless necessary. Whereas in Vietnam, you just honk to be like, hey, I'm near you. Big trucks and the buses honking in Vietnam because it's just like, but the loudest air horn you've ever heard in your entire life all day. So I think that kind of wears you down a bit, which you don't have here. I'll show you uh, what we got to sleep in tonight. We got the triple room because that's all they had available, which means stuff bed. I don't think we can have anything to complain about because we were supposed to be camping. We got a double and a single or a twin, whatever the heck that is. Six pillows. We're going to start using this in our metrics for how we rate hotel rooms is uh, how many hooks a place has to hang your shit on. Mm. So far this place is not doing so good. Hooks. We need hooks. There's no such thing as too much hooks in a hotel room. Closet with five coat hangers. 
and uh, brings me to the piece of shit de resistance. No, it's okay. It is a bathroom. I'm not gonna say anything about it. You can see it for yourself. I have to say one thing about it. This, look how comically small this toilet seat is. It just covers the hole. I've never seen that. You know what? Why do you need it to cover the whole thing? You don't. The only qualm that I have is that the water is brown. Oh, yeah. It's not as bad as it was before. Sorry, we kind of dipped on camping almost immediately. <laughs> But it rains a lot here and we don't have a tarp, so it would get wet very yeah. quickly. And I mean, we could go buy one, but it seems wasteful to buy something that we're only going to use for 10 days. It does, and I think we're a bit just ill-prepared for this kind of thing, so I guess that means we'll have to give it another go someday. I don't know why I did that. Don't miss part three where we reject the dogma of 90s R&B group TLC, and we go chasing waterfalls. <coughs> and afterwards, test the limits of our bikes and bodies by off-roading in the torrential rain. <coughs>